Now, it is one of Accra's largest flood-prone areas. Residents have lost their lives to flooding during heavy rain periods. I'm talking about Latibi Akashi in Accra. On their part, residents have put the necessary measures in place to prevent flooding this season. However, it appears residents will again experience flooding during the next rains if local authorities do not give them the needed attention. I'm here for at Latobi Okoshi for a period of 20 years now. So the problem we are having is especially this river. Whether it's river or gutter, we don't know. But when it rains, we can't sleep here. The, look at the house. The whole house is full up with water. So if you could see there's a caterpillar there. Just yesterday, they brought it. I don't know who brought it. But what they are supposed to do, they are supposed to dip really into the gutter to bring the sun outside. But they rather expand it. So when it rains, it, it comes more. We don't know what to do. Kiss a man here. Uh -huh. The man went in. That is the end of him. For three days, this major gutter, which appears to be the cause of the floods in the area, is being dredged to help solve the situation. Elsewhere, this would come as a sigh of relief for residents here, as they have for years wallowed in floods. However, Residents no longer believe in these signs. Apparently, this isn't the first time such a dredging exercise has been conducted here. When they brought the contractor, she brought machines to start the work. So when they were about to start the work, the machine sunk into the sand, so it cannot move it again. Then they were able to manage and come and collect the contractors out. So when they finished, that's the end of it. They don't come here again. Up till now. The only what they do is, is that annual this thing, when it's getting to raining time, we at times force the assemblymen, they will organize for a tractor to come and clear inside so that whenever it rains, the water can get chance and flow. The story here at Latabi Okoshi is not different from that of other flood prone areas in the capital. Residents here are even fortunate to have excavators to the silting this particular gutter at least twice every year. But the situation persists. The question is why? Whenever it rains, you see, things will come from other sources. You see, this gutter is from Tangase Line. It joins it here. There's another one there. There's another one there. So all the gutters from other sides join this way. A waste collection bin has been made available for residents to dump their refuse into. Clearly, this is not entirely an issue of poor sanitation in the area. The Ghana Meteorological Agency has predicted that the southern sector will experience more rains this year as compared to the previous years. We saw some youth in the area who were putting their house in order to prevent flooding during the rains. Now, you're inside now, I stop it, see the flow. Drains from the gutter enter our homes whenever it rains. So we are fixing a pipe from our home to the gutter, giving it a different direction. It is not clear if this would save residents as previous attempts have failed. Clearly, the best solution is for this major drain to be fixed.